everyone. Today, Rising Raptors team presenting you the unmanned aerial vehicle applications. Unmanned aerial vehicles are classified as target and decoy UAVs, battlefield intelligence UAV, research and development UAV, commercial and civil UAVs. You are about to realize the potential of unmanned aerial vehicles. They are geographical and nature surveying, disaster and site monitoring, security surveillance and border patrolling missions, delivering medical supplies to remote areas, forest fire detection, wildlife survey. Unmanned aerial vehicles are capable for acrobatic aerial footage in filmmakings. They are also capable of inspecting the power lines and pipelines and crowd monitoring. In flight refueling or air to air refueling, most of us would be familiar with these terms. The interesting fact is that UAVs have been only recently employed into this concern, with US Navy's MQ-25 Stingray being the pioneer in it. It pays you to advantages where the jets wouldn't even need to land to refuel. This is where the Flying V prototype tops the chart. The V-shape generator gives it an aerodynamical advantage. Also, by eliminating the tail section, with the cost of a little reflex, we are able to drastically reduce the drag coefficient. It would be able to carry huge loads within its twin fuselage sections. Imagine with technological advancements, autonomous refueling drones carrying fuel not twice, thrice, even quadruple times its structural weight. Amazing, isn't it? solution third is multi internal and external payload cabins so which are capable for delivering the uh, supplies to remote sensing areas without landing the uavs so here video shows how the internal parts are loaded into the aircraft when aircraft takes take off from the ground we can deliver these internal parts using uh, parachutes or cables to the remote sensing areas this is the video presentation which shows you the internal parts of loading into the aircraft. Thank you.